Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Skill87, and today I'm going to be reviewing for the PlayStation 3 Tales of Graces F. Now, I am very surprised by the large amount of people that have been asking me to review this game. Typically, the Tales games are very under the radar in America, pretty big in Japan. So I was like kind of shocked then when I was getting all these requests to hurry up with my review. Now, I'm going to take my sweet ass time with this game. I think it's fucking fantastic. It's great, very old school JRPG, you know, cheesy voice acting. Cheesy story, but intense role-playing mechanics. Very fun game. So if you're looking for something pretty old school that caters to just the, the cheesy storyline, something you like, you can kind of you can play. You could have played this game many years ago, basically. That's how old school this game pretty much comes off. So yeah, look no further. Tales of Grace is up for the PlayStation 3. If the gamers keep pestering, you know the developers, they will bring more of the Tales games to the states and shit. So yeah. This game says only on PlayStation, which is kind of strange because this is actually a game from the Wii. The, uh, it's a port of the Wii version. If you've noticed from the gameplay trailers and shit that the graphics are a little meh, that's because this is a Wii game. But it's fucking awesome. And as far as the only on PlayStation little thing right there, I believe that we're referring to the large plethora of overpriced DLC. So what is the story? The story is this. You control Asbel and his band of... Very different, very different characters on a quest to find out why your childhood friend, King Richard, is going around and stealing the, the life force fucking crystals, the Krius crystals, stealing the energy from them from all over the fucking world. And it's one of those stories. It's one of those like, oh my god, like you were once cool. What are you doing? Now you're like out to destroy the world. I guess it's up to your childhood friends to stop you. Good looking out, bro. Cool story. So it's one of those stories. What I like about the game is, as far as the story goes, it's predictable and cheesy, and the voice acting, the characters, like the way they speak and the way they present themselves, is very JRPG, like, and a script, oh my god, the script. There's plenty of voice acting, but the game is so cheesy and JRPG and old school, it's fantastic, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's so, like, my boy Dave came over, and he's, like, listening to the characters talk, he's like, wow, this is really bad. This is like the, this is the cheesy shit I've ever heard, and yeah, and, and I was like, yeah, man, isn't it great? He's like, exactly. So there are games that can really pull it off, like be cheesy, but then at the same time, that makes the game what it is, and it brings that charm to the game. So, you know, story, the voice acting, I'm gonna give it the Paxton score because it gets the job done. Like it has like that old school vibe, and the characters, each character has their own personality. They bring their own you know, tricks of the trade to the table, they all look different, and they're all very fucking colorful. So, excuse me, allergies. So, uh, you know, story, characters, all that good shit, passing score. Sound effects, Tales has always had, their soundtracks have always been very similar. Each Tales game soundtrack kind of sounds like the last, and this game is no exception. You know, as the game progresses, the battle music changes. Depending on the DLC costumes you're wearing, the battle music changes. But, um, you know, the music, the ambiance, very JRPG. The voice acting, like I said, is very cheesy. But there's nothing actually bad about the sound effects. Like, the sound effects, there's, there's nothing wrong with the sounds at all in this game. So, once again, passing score. Control. Um, as far as controls are concerned, they're very responsive. They're fucking, what to, you know, what to expect from a Tales game. The other, the other thing I don't like about the controls is the inability to control the camera. I was like, well, what the fuck? I cannot control the camera while I'm exploring the game. And another thing about Control is this game's kind of mainstreamed compared to the previous. Like, if you play Tales of Vesperia, this is going to feel like a downgrade, except the Bowser. The Bowser is an upgrade in its, in, its, in its own sense. Every Tales game, the Bowser system evolves somehow or changes. In Tales of Vesperia, you could spam moves because the moves are based off of, like, mana points in a sense, or you can just spam moves over and over. I'll get to the Bowser system in a bit. But the Bowser system is brand new and fresh, and this game, Tales of Graces F, but as far as the downgrade from the gameplay and the controls, there's no world map. You don't travel from town to town. You just kind of progress. And you have no control of the camera, which is really fucking gay. So I felt that that really kind of hindered my score a little bit because I guess because it's a Wii game and they had to sacrifice. I'm just giving that kind of guess to make the game work. Because the game does look pretty good for a Wii game, but not no PS3 fucking game. And compared to the previous games, like, you know, the previous Tales games, especially Tales of Vesperia, you know, the way you move about the world it feels like a downgrade. So, um, yeah. But, 
It is what it is. The game still works. It still functions properly. Now we're going to talk about the reason you bought the game. The bananas. 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 Um, gameplay. You see, the Tales game has always been popular for their crazy gameplay and the combos you can fucking pull off. And this game is no exception. Alright? Where's my controller? When you play Tales, when you play the Tales games, you got four people on your screen. Alright? You control one at a time. You can switch to any of the characters on the go with the D-pad. When you open up your, your, your menu, you can set it up where your three partners, whoever you're controlling at the time, don't do nothing. They react a certain way. <clears throat> and you can set up the strategies, what they do. When you get into a battle, it's a giant ring. And you have full control of your character, the one you're currently controlling. You move them left to right, or up and down. And if you hold, I believe it's L2, you get to move in a full, you know, full motion. You have these points next to your character's name. That, rep that represent the amount of actions you can do. Blocking, you know, sidestepping, free roaming, wastes points. Attacking, utilizing magic and shit, wastes points. When these points are depleted to zero, you must stand still or walk around while these points regenerate. These points will determine what you can do. As the game progresses and the equipment you get, you can upgrade these points so you can spam more moves. But unlike Tales of Vesperia, where you, if you have like an insane amount of mana, you can just do moves over and over and constantly juggle enemies. As with this game, you can be more smart. Now you can juggle enemies for a period of time. But if you t don't time things right, you'll run out of fucking action points in a sense, and you have to make a retreat while your points regenerate. All right. So I like that concept. Every character has their own unique style. The middle guy Asbel Lot fights like a fucking samurai. His brother up here has a dual-sided fucking blade. My man right here is a fucking warlock. Old girl right here, she utilizes throwing daggers. And fucking healing. This girl is basically the game's monk. And this guy fights with a rapier. And this girl utilizes magic. Alright. As you progress through the levels, you will unlock titles. As you progress through the game, you will unlock more like titles. Titles. You get titles for every little thing you do. And this is the first Tales game that lets you grow the way you want to grow. Based on your actions and what you do and the choices you make and your play style, you unlock different titles. You equip these titles and different titles equipped allow you to get different stat boosts. If you want to concentrate on getting more attack and defense, there are titles that you equip that give you these you know, bonuses. If you are a kind of person that you're always doing combos and shit and you're a Tales of, you know, Tales of Veteran, you unlock different titles that give you more arts and skills. And you can set it up as to where the game will equip different titles for you over time, or you can do it all manually. The titles are really silly sounding, and they usually have something to do with the current event happening in the game. But the different titles, different stat boosts. It's nice change to the Tales game, you know, the Tales franchise. You see, they took away a lot of the exploration concept. The game's kind of straightforward, mainstream, but the battle system. Has evolved to the point where now you just can't spam moves. You gotta be really precautious in how you charge in the battle. Every character is unique and different in their own way. You can feel free to change it up. I love the fact that every character is really different. As Belon's very fast paced, as were his brother, Hubert, you wanna play that that back and forth game because he has low defense. And as this man, you know, Captain Malik, you know, he plays the warlock game, he can attack with his little boomerang blade and you magic. And every character will take a fucking wild to master. No character plays the same as the last. Every character has their own unique game. So you can play the entire game playing as one specific character if you want to, or switch it up and try to earn everyone's title. This game's trophies are fucking like, you know, some of them are just come and go. So these like, if you really want to play on this bitch, this game's gonna take some dedication. Your first playthrough, especially if you're a completionist, will not be done until you about sixty to eighty to hundred hours. This is an old school game, very long. It's one of those games where you think you finally beat it and you get more missions and it's like, oh my god, let's, let's go on this quest. Let's go on that quest. Oh my god, no, it's, all, it's one of those games. Old school JRPG at its finest. Like I said, cheesy voice acting. But 
It's one of those games that you just really appreciate. Like, you don't care. The, the, cheese, the voice acting is so bad that you love it. The gameplay story, excuse me, the game itself, you know, the story and how the story progresses, old school. But the battle system is fucking awesome. And the way you progress, the way you level up, the way you have you you feel like you have control of your character's growth, the fact that you get to play and switch all these different characters on the fly, and each character brings something unique to the table. Very deep, compelling role-playing game. I highly recommend Tales of Graces F for the PlayStation 3. I give this game an 8 out of 10. I give it an 8 because I felt that they could have done a lot more with the exploration. It feels really compared to previous Tales games. It's like a big downgrade. And then the graphics. Oh my god. Like there are times where you can actually see the pixel blocks on the fucking enemies. And sometimes like, shit is just. Oh god. It, listen. Just play the game. Just buy the game. Especially if you like JRPGs and overpriced DLC. There's literally. $100 worth of DLC already for this game in the few weeks it's been out. Every week more DLC comes out for the game, different costumes and different shit like that. Yeah, so if you're willing to spend money, money sink. But, hey, it is what it is. Like I said, 8 out of 10, PlayStation 3. Thank you for watching my review. And like I said in a previous video, if you have any topics you want me to discuss gaming-wise, you want to hear my opinion and shit like that, hit me up, send me a PM. And tell me what you want me to talk about. If I feel like I want to talk about this subject, I will give it a shot. And I will mention that it was you that gave me this idea. But yeah, 8 out of 10. Tales of Grace is F. Catch you guys next video. And peace.